Hi, I'm Gavin, and uh, this is how you use virtual audio cable. So, first thing you do, open up your folder. You probably have 64 bit operating system, so open up the x64 folder. And then there is audio repeater.exe, audio repeater ks.exe. Just ignore this one unless, uh, I don't know. And a vcctlpan.exe. That's your control panel. It's already running. So, this is where you set everything up. I don't know what half this stuff means, but the more cables you need, you just increase the number, hit the set button, and uh, you shouldn't need to restart, but sometimes you do. It's whatever. And then to listen to your virtual audio cable, you open up the audio repeater.exe, which I already have one open as seen here. You set your wave in as your cable and then wave out as what you're going to listen to it through like your headphones or uh, general Microsoft sound mapper and uh, for me I have two virtual audio cables and I mix them with voice meter but that's with two E's it's weird so one cable acts as the uh, output for my snowball and one, the other audio cable that I use for the soundboard like this <coughs> and yeah that's how you use virtual audio cable to uh, power your quacky ass soundboards. Thank you for watching.